What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to slice your model up um, into different pieces. Um, I do want to take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, so one of the perks if you support me on Patreon is you get to vote on which extension I cover every week. This week, my Patreon supporters selected Zorro 2 as the extension of the week. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Zorro 2. Plugin developer, what? Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developers. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication or SketchUp extension stores. I've also linked to it in the notes down below. Tool functions. Zorro 2 is an extension specifically designed for slicing your entire model into pieces. It was originally designed so that you could cut open your models and render them as section cuts. However, a lot of rendering programs have added the functionality for rendering section cuts, so this function isn't used for that as much as it once was. However, Zorro 2 is still useful for slicing your models. At its basest functionality, you can simply click two points, and Zorro 2 will slice your model along the line you've drawn, allowing you to slice straight through your model. Any geometry visible between your two points that isn't in a group will be cut. In addition to being able to slice raw geometry, you can also hold the control key to cut through nested groups and components. This can be particularly helpful if you're cutting into a house and you want to keep furniture in one piece or something like that. The best way to use this extension precisely is to turn perspective mode off and cut from one of the default views, meaning the top, bottom, front, or back. I'm interested in the possibility of using this along with an extension like Flowify in order to create quad faces, so I'll probably be fooling around with that in the next few days. This extension also contains the ability to slice a model at a section plane. Whenever you use this function, any geometry rendered not visible by your section plane when you slice it is deleted. In my day-to-day -day job, I've used this extension when I'm getting quantities out of a SketchUp model when I have to break out different areas, like the retail first floor of a high-rise building. So this definitely has a bunch of different uses. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this extension? Is it something that you'd like to give a try to? Or uh, can you just not see a reason to use this functionality? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.